What's up guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be working on a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, particularly on a C pump. So if your AC pump makes a rattling noise uh, when you're running, you know, during hot weather, when you want to have your AC running, uh, generally what happens is that the bearing inside the actual AC pump, uh, the, the clutch assembly, or more like a pulley, where the clutch assembly goes on top of it, uh, it just starts to wobble and creates all sorts of noise. So let's take a look at, let's check out that sound and then see how it works. So let's take a peek. You hear that noise? I don't know if uh, the microphone will be able to pick it up. So when the pump kicks on, which is right there. So uh, I'm going to be replacing this AC clutch. I got this one off of eBay. Uh, it's called Cold Fusion AC Parts. It is an eBay seller. Uh, looks like they're based in Florida. Their turnaround time was fairly quick. It was uh, I ordered it Friday night after they got back to me that my this their unit will fit this particular vehicle. And uh, it was like $59.99 later and Tuesday or Wednesday the part was in and now we're here gonna swap it out so i never really swapped this one in particular i've done it in the older grand cherokees which many people have done before the idea should be similar because they, they don't really change too much except for just the configuration of the actual pump of how it gets mounted and things like that now let's take a peek what's inside this uh package so let's see so we have our magneto then we have the pulley with um, the bearing already pressed in and it looks like the, they actually staked the bearing into the pulley itself which is great I've never seen you know them do on other ones before that's a pretty cool idea it means that you know it's not gonna walk it out or anything like that which is great now Let's see here, we have our outer clutch assembly. Let's see, let's take a look at these numbers. So this is the part numbers, I don't know if you can tell. Right here. Come on, focus. There we go. So then we also have our little snap rings, washers, and a new bolt for the center to attach it to. Now, so what I know about these things. So on these ones, this particular pump that I have on this Jeep goes from 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee all the way up to 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee on the 3.6 Pentastars, uh, the V6 versions of this engine. And uh, I know that some of the Wranglers, they also run the same uh, motor, so it might fit. I would just contact them directly and you know with like the sticker off your AC uh, with the part number and stuff and just to see if uh, it will go and most likely it will fit but I have no idea I would just double check and kind of go from there all right so let's go after it let's get it swapped out and then we can see if it actually works if it works so first we're gonna remove the engine cover just by prying it up like so. Then we'll remove this intake uh, assembly by undoing the eight mil bolt right here. And then another eight mil bolt on that side, undoing this little clip, press it by simply pressing, simply pressing on this tab. The last time I worked on it, the owner is taking care of it pretty, pretty good. I like doing a pretty good job of keeping it clean as well. Next, we will need to take off our serpentine belt. What I usually do is take a picture of how it's set up. That way, I don't mess up my uh, alignment there. Sometimes it will show on this panel right here with like the factory drawing of how the belt's supposed to go on not on this car in particular so what i'm gonna do 
is just take a quick snap of this particular picture. Boom, done. Now I have that set up and I can remove the belt. So to take the belt off, we will need to put some tension on this tensioner right here. Push it that way and then pop the belt off. To do that, we will need this, uh, I believe they call it, uh, what is it, the 3 8 can just stick it right here. Actually, an extension would work better. Take it off the pump. Done. Now we can take the belt off. Take a look at it. Still pretty good. There's no cracks, so we're good. We can still reuse it. Now, uh, on to the AC pump. All right, so now since we have the serpent belt removed, let's give the AC uh, pulley a spin. And if it, let's listen to it. You hear that? That means that the bearing on it has went out and that's why it's making that weird noise. Okay, now let's proceed and have this bolt removed and then go forward. Okay, so I was having trouble on securing this particular clutch and pulley assembly on the car. So I went and got this little uh, vice grip with like a, I don't know what's the proper name for them, like a finger clamp. and. Uh, hooked the clutch to the pulley right here and then had it pushing against the engine block right there so it's in there pretty dead like pretty strong and then use an 8 mil socket right here to break it loose so it is coming out but it's kind of a I'm having a hard time so what I did was, you know, I broke it loose and then tightened back up and then broke it loose again, tightened back up until it went more freely or the bolts started coming out more freely. As you can see, it does have some sort of a Loctite on it. So it looks like red Loctite. So we'll have to put that on before we assemble it back up. that there's our clutch assembly so here are the snap ring or is the snap ring right in here so I need to go and grab the tool get it decompressed pulled out so that I can take the pulley out as you can hear it this thing is just wobbling in there going crazy so that's the culprit of our problems here the clutch itself is fine actually. I mean it's a little rusty but you know it's not a big deal. But of course, just like everything else in life with the Murphy Law, you know, when you don't expect it to fail, it will fail. Just when you need it and it's hot outside and toasty, it fails. Just the way things are. To make your life a lot easier, you can get one of these guys the snap ring removal tool I will uh, add a link in the description that way you can get one for yourself if you need to so the idea with this tool is to get in there there's two little indents in there Let's see if you can fit those in and then do that just like that. So we're going to use a little bit of WG-40. Get this 
right in there. Let that sit for a minute. And this still makes it take, come off like butter. Now, let's continue assembling everything back up. From this point on, everything should go pretty easy. So, here's our brand new one. This is the used one. They are identical. The clutch material is nice and even. There's still plenty of clutch material on this one as well. But, why not just put a new one in? Plus, it was only like $60. Beats buying a new pump. Okay, let's see how easy this is gonna go. Most likely not. Ah, nice and smooth. No noise. Okay. You could use something else other than your hand, but got it in there so now <laughs> so quick little update I ended up using the original oh uh, the snap ring that came that came with the car and then the one that came with the kit I uh, didn't use it she didn't like the way it sat in there uh, it didn't quite grip too well like to get in there I mean it, it does have the little like the grooves and stuff to grab on uh, by the shaft but it just wasn't enough contact and when I would just use a uh, screwdriver to pry on top it just kept popping out easily which is not supposed to do so perhaps maybe it's just the way my pump is set up and just does not like this type of a snap ring so I reused the original one anyways so that's on there now let's grab our clutch so it looks like my clutch or on this particular car had one washer inside in there. So we're just gonna reuse that. And uh, put that back on. So the way I understand is that washer, it offsets the spacing between the pulley with the clutch material and then the clutch itself that way the pulley can spin freely put some of that stuff on here Let's tighten this guy down and uh, torque it to spec. So, on this one, we're gonna use a oil filter tool to fix this deal in place. And torque it down to 115 inch pounds of torque. Of inch pounds not foot pounds inch pounds just so you get that straight okay. there we go good now since we're done using these we can put these away and start reassembling everything back up So our AC pump is finally assembled, let's hook this clip back in. Be 
beautiful. Okay, now we will put the serpent belt back on. So I find it easier to route it this way first and then just have the belt be taken off the pump itself and then taking the tension off the tensioner, pulling the belt back up and then just slip it right on just like that. Easy peasy. Boom. Done. Okay. Wonderful. Done. Now we get to put this back on. The intake. Remember, these are eight mil bolts in here on each end. And you know the rest, you just put the cover back on, start it up, and test it. And that's it. Simple as that. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually start it up. Because sometimes in these videos, people don't start them. And then you don't know what really happens. Is it working or not? Hopefully that walkthrough was helpful. Thanks for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe if you can. On a positive note, everything worked out. It's so quiet and job was well done. Till next time. All right, later guys.